I say Auntie Monet? Team Ghost. The man is a, a legend. This size, Zeke. Oh. 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 can handle himself. And you too valuable to the family. This will be squashed in a minute. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love power, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like the video and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now, it is Power Book 2 Ghost premiere week, and we've been breaking down characters all week. And today, we're going to be talking about your boy, Zeke. The description for his character has been put out, so let's go over it. It reads, Zeke is confident, charismatic. Zeke Cross spent his childhood preparing to be a franchise player in the NBA. Unfortunately, the drive that kept his mind on the court kept his focus away from the classroom. So he must rely on Tariq's tutoring to keep him off academic probation at Stansfield. Sheltered from his aunt Monet's drug business, he has no idea that introducing Tariq to his family is crashing his personal and academic lives in a way that can put everything he's worked hard for at risk. So... This character is very interesting. I mean, this guy um, seems like he's very talented and he needs to be taking his academics very seriously if he wants to do anything as far as as his career. Um, he needs to be very serious. So it makes kind of it kind of makes sense when you see some of those earlier trailers about him and Monet, him being at the party and stuff like that. We're definitely going to talk about that. But Zeke, um, he's definitely going to be a key player in Power Book 2 Ghost. And it seems like your boy Tariq is right in the middle of all this. Um, so the description said that, you know, Tariq is pretty much going to be tutoring Zeke to keep him off academic probation. And that also Zeke introduces uh, Tariq to his family. So that's how Tariq is able to find out exactly who Monet is and the whole thing, how the family, at least the introduction, he, you know, he's brought in by your boy Zeke. So. The question is, what's going to happen after that? Because it seems like your boy Tariq is influencing a lot of people, not just him, but Drew as well. Um, we definitely going to talk about Drew. If you guys don't know, he's the brother of Kane and Diana. Um, we will be breaking down his character in a little bit. But as far as your boy Tariq goes, he's a part of all this. You know what I'm saying? Being at parties and stuff. So it makes sense. And when you saw the party scene with uh, Zeke, you know that Zeke probably invited Tariq there or whatever. And that's how Tariq started to see the family. Um, I'm going to tell you like this. It's going to be crazy. And you can see the fear in Tariq's eyes at the party. So it makes sense when you see Tariq, how he's looking. He's like, man, that's Zeke. He's getting into it with somebody. Then he sees Monet um, there as well, which, you know, everybody knows exactly who she is. And she's telling Zeke, like, look. You are too valuable to the family. And it seems like, you know, based on that description, she wants to shelter him because she doesn't want him getting into trouble. If he can make it in the NBA or, you know, anything professional when it, you know, when it comes to basketball, this guy should not be a part of no drug game. He should not be a part of any type of trouble at all. So it's smart on, Mon on Monet's half to try to protect him, to keep him away from this lifestyle because, dude, you can be legit and don't have to worry about, you know, somebody trying to kill you or trying to kill your family, um, especially if you go to legit way. No use to trying to sell drugs and being part of this, but it seems like Zeke doesn't want to do that. His, his, you know, his motivation seems like it's on something else. And that's exactly what I think we want to see from him in Power Book 2 Ghost. He has all the talent in the world, but he doesn't have that drive to make it as far as academics. And I think the drug life, um, the, the life of crime is going to push him to the edge. It's going to make him do things that he probably shouldn't be doing. Hanging around his cousin Drew and Kane, I think it's going to be a problem. You know what I'm saying? When these guys are all together doing something, um, bad things are going to happen. Put it like that. That's what I see. But it seems like when you break down these characters and see their descriptions, it seems like some of them do have potential as far as doing different things. And it really does seem like Monet is trying to keep, you know, she's trying to keep, you know, some of these guys away from the drug game. Not just Zeke. She's trying to keep Drew away as well. Um, and I will be dropping that video for you guys a little bit later on. But, yeah, she's trying to keep him away 
from this as well. It's no use to having, you know, having your family a part of this if they don't want to be a part of it. And if it can protect them, you know, keep them away from it. But guys like Zeke, you see them all day. You see them every single day growing up in the inner cities. I mean, hell, even in the rich parts, kids with so much talent and drive to make it, they end up slipping up when they go off to college. When they start seeing different things, they started to be motivated by the party life and the life of crime. And with Zeke, we probably want to see that in his character. Probably going to be very popular at the school. Everybody's probably going to know him and they're going to know what he's all about and that he has a lot of potential. But those people ain't probably trying to help him. So that's why Tariq is there to try to help him. And I'm wondering if Tariq is going to use him to get closer to the Tejadas and just use him in general to play chess. You know, Tariq really has to use everybody and use all the pieces to the puzzle. I mean, he can use he can use Zeke as a pawn to get closer to Monet. He has to be very smart, in my personal opinion. Now, you guys make sure you checked out my uh, Power Book 2 Ghosts. Final predictions video I dropped it earlier this week, giving you my final predictions of the main characters, which is Monet, Tasha, and Tariq. I broke it down, talking about what I see happening for those three characters, because we know that this installment of power is built around those three characters, and you already know it's about to go down, man. We are very close to the to the premiere. This is a series premiere, and I think it's going to do very good, man. I think it's going to do very good in... A lot of people are going to be probably surprised. It's going to be people that's going to complain about it. But I believe people are definitely going to be talking about it, especially after that first episode. They're definitely going to be talking about it. Um, and also, I will be dropping this video very soon. So be looking out for it. Power Book 2, um, Drew is the what to expect for his character. We'll be dropping it very soon for you guys. Probably in about 30 minutes to an hour, you will be seeing this video if you haven't saw it already um, by the time you watch this. But yes, I will be breaking down Drew because they're all connected. He is the cousin of Zeke and he needs Tariq's help as well. So we're definitely going to talk about that in a bit. And also, I dropped the final episodes are being filmed. Yes, the final episodes of Power Book 2 Ghosts are being filmed. And I know Courtney Kip was saying in her little um, interview that she did on Instagram, um, I want to say a month ago, she was pretty much saying that they were going to go into, you know, season two or something like that. Who really knows? We ain't got the, you know, 100% confirmation on that. But what we do know is Power Book 3 Raising Canaan, the production, it's about to resume. So I cannot wait for that. But keep supporting your boy and I will continue to bring you more Power content in the future. But let me get on out of here, man. It's your boy Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.